Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the KF Podcast. KFP Reactions. Captain Marvel trailer. I want to say thank you for listening. If you just stumbled across us on the interwebs, check us out at kfpodcast.com and at the KF Podcast and all your other social media needs. We got Brock, hey. Don, Yo. Justin via Tin Can Satellite. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be reviewing the Captain Marvel trailer that just hit on yes, us like we fell through a blockbuster video like yes you, that is a reference that happens in the trailer so i'm trying to be topical uh, you're like an ointment amazing everything about that was amazing lobster head <laughs> justin your reaction to the trailer what did you think real quick go i really liked it <laughs> sweet uh, <laughs> done <laughs> all right you said really quick go i really liked it um you know, very 90s, right from the beginning, tells you what decade it's taking place in. Um, <laughs> did have some questions, though, about uh, how it's going to flip back and forth between modern day and, and the 90s. But uh, I, I'm excited. That, you know, this, this is a new new thing for Marvel. It does look like kind of a um, cookie-cutter Marvel, but uh, I don't mind that. I like all these movies, so bring it on. It's a new thing, but it's cookie-cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. First, first female led, you know, I like Brie Larson. I think she's a great actress. Uh, the character for me is interesting that they've set up. Um, looking forward to it. All right. Cool. Brock, what are your thoughts? I was kind of disappointed in the trailer, mainly because it's just a teaser trailer and they hyped it way too much. They did hype it a lot. And there wasn't a whole lot to Breaking really the seen. internet. It was better than breaking the internet with a picture. Yeah, right? it was. Um, what I see looks good, but I didn't see enough to really get too excited about it. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a letdown. Kind of a lot of expectation for it. And you know, you know, one of the things I, in the trailer that I didn't really like was the way she was talking. I didn't like her voice either. I didn't like her voice. It didn't like yeah. seem to match her or something. It was, well, you know, I, you know, I was like, why does she sound so, like, dorky? Like, yeah, she sounded like a, like a teenage girl. Yeah, it was kind of off. And all the flashback stuff I thought was kind of Green Lantern-ish when she was a jet fighter pilot and all mm -hmm. that. But They do have a very similar uh, uh, storyline, so it's going to have parallels to that, which we can, you kind of got to separate yourself from. The other thing that that is throwing me is I... I feel like the Samuel Jackson and Coulson pictures that they show, mm -hmm. like so. This is supposed to take place somewhere in the middle mid nineties, is what they said. Correct. Let's say ninety five, ninety six. So the first the first appearance of Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury is two thousand and eight, in Iron Man one. Mm -hmm. He looks so young in this movie, and it's only really like. 10 to 15 years earlier and he looks like he's like in the 60s like he has a full head of hair he's, he's all yeah. fine he's young looking colson has a full head of hair i'm like look i've been bald for like 25 years <laughs> like, like 10 12 years doesn't make that much of a difference that much of a you boy don't there. have the stress of a scrawl invasion and knowing about otherworldly beings to to weather to you. you to weather to you yeah. i just feel they didn't have to go that young like look at that fresh beijing that, that samuel jackson has he, like mike tomlin yeah, he looks looks like Steelers. mike tomlin he's all <laughs> fresh looking i'm like eh, i don't know like is it that much of a draft i feel like that's like they're acting like it's 30 years ago like it's really not that long ago they're showing off their tech. Yeah, yeah. I think they're. Uh, that didn't bother me. Yeah, it was like, oh, Coulson gets out of the car, his full head of hair. And it's all blonde, like, wavy hair. Blonde like and wavy, everybody gets a boner over it. And I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Looks like Thor. What was your thoughts? I didn't have any expectations going into this, um, so I wasn't underwhelmed or overwhelmed. It just seems like. It seems like it's just going to be the same Marvel stereotype, which is frustrating a bit because I don't want to see Captain Marvel fight someone with the same power set as her. Like she's going to if, maybe fight Jude, Jude Law. Law. Yeah. yeah. Which would be frustrating. Which but, I'm not uh, sure he's supposed to be Marvel or not. He's something else. Yeah, I don't know. Which is uh, which I don't know. And then where does the scrolls play in? I don't know. There's probably going to be some kind of super scroll that she fights. I yeah. would assume. But it's just... Wouldn't it be great if they could do the Super Scroll and give the them FF's one. powers? Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I don't know why they couldn't do that. 
just yeah, they wouldn't have to say where it came from. Yeah, I mean everybody can have stretch and flame powers and stuff. Stretch and flame, stretch and flame, and invisibility. Uh, but I wasn't, I wasn't blown away by it. I wasn't. Like, oh, I can't wait till March because of this. Were you waiting for, like, you know all these Marvel trailers when they first launch, and at the end it's like one good delivery of yeah. something? Yeah. Or it's like, you know, the, the Civil War one, it ends, and it's Spider-Man landing on the thing, and you're like, whoa, the, uh, the, the Infinity yeah. War ones, they did a whole bunch of different, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the Guardians meeting Thor. Yeah. It just ended, and I yeah. was like, oh. It's not it's there this time. It's just a teaser, though. I yeah. feel like this, Venom or something will probably get more. I feel like this may be tough, too, because we are on such a high from Infinity War. Yeah. Like, we busted a nut hard for that. <laughs> like, it's going to be tough to, like, get excited about this again. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, maybe it's just going to be a slow buildup. And, and, but I like the way she looks with the mask on, with the full, like, helmet. Well, we're going to get to that. We're going to go okay. through some screenshots here. All right. So let's bring up the first one here. Someone's um, got to clean up all those those tapes. So there's Blockbuster, DVDs. and she lands in the middle. Tapes or DVDs? Well, it's, it's the '90s. I'm gonna say DVDs. I'm gonna say tapes probably. Oh, I was gonna say DVDs. I'm the one that worked at a video store. In like '95, it wasn't mostly all tapes. I don't know. It was still tapes. Then. It was still tapes. <laughs> DVDs. Yeah, or whatever. DVD player didn't become popular until about '98, '99. Tell him, Brock. Right when this was supposed to be. So seen. she's falls through the roof. <laughs> Apparently, she's late. This will help us determine when it is. <laughs> if it's tapes or DVDs. Yeah. How about we shut up? <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Not really much about that one. Uh, next, you see her like kind of lost in the subway, walking around. Uh -huh. Okay. See, I, I think like everybody's ignoring her in this outfit. No way, no one ignores her in this green, like, in New York, weird leather motorcycle outfit. There's no dudes in that picture right now. The picture we're seeing is just a bunch of chicks. And yeah, they don't care. They could care less. I don't know. Let's see what we got next. She's with a shield hat on, walking through like the bunker with her fighter pilot outfit. I think this is after she probably meets Nick Fury. Mm -hmm. I mean, where do they get those hats made? Yeah. <laughs> At Lids. At it has a logo Lids. on it. Yeah. At Lids. Yeah, that's a legit She's logo. not in hiding because so, there's a logo on yeah. it. Yeah. So, hey, our secret espionage organization, let's get some effing hats made. <laughs> yeah, so, it's so dumb. You're right. That is a good point. It's a secret organization. They're like, you want to wear a hat with our logo on it? It's supposed to be a secret. Nah, it's fine. We got to make it Secret Lids. Service don't have hats. Just throw in that pocket. She's wearing a wig. Uh, probably. Is she wearing a wig? I don't know. I don't know. Let's yeah, go to the next one, which we have here. Look at this room. This is like an alien. It looks like a scrawl. Oh, yeah. It's kind of green. Him. They're like dissecting it. You, the scrawl kill crew. You can't pay for all those lights to be on that giant room. You're, you work no. for the U.S. Yeah, government. Yeah, that's a lot of lights, man. I'm burning uh, electricity. I know you're trying to look ominous in the scene, but... Yeah, kind of dumb. Let's shadows. go to the next. Come on, now. This... This is confusing to me. That's a ship. It's a it's big a ship. ship coming to Earth. So this That's all the scrolls that are going to do the secret invasion later on. So if they're having like a big alien invasion, wouldn't people have remembered it? They're probably going to explain that. They better explain that cuz that's a tough Shield's one. Shield's probably going to do something to like cause people to forget. Yeah, cuz that would be a tough one. Cuz you would be like, "Wow, it's happening again just like it happened in the 90s." Yeah. yeah. Well, it was that was this is a secret invasion. So maybe not everyone knew about it. Okay. <laughs> so my question is, is that thing in the background, is that a little spaceship? Or is that supposed to be like the International Space Station? No, that I think is her jet because there's a scene down the road here. I'll show you where I think it ties in. He's on down. He's so on I'll down. show you. Okay. Here we'll go ahead. This looks bad CGI right there, those blasts. That, they need to fix that. Yeah. I don't like the, the, just how she, I don't how know. How it starts around her wrist and then comes out her. Yeah. Yeah. It's not coming out. Because they like, showed that in one of the flashback scenes when she fell down as a kid or something. And her hand was glowing. Yeah, like yeah. it started around her wrist. But does it, and I could be wrong, but doesn't her power come from the gauntlet thing she wears? No, that's Quasar. That's Quasar. Has the quantum okay. bands. Right. Loser. Read a comic <laughs> once in a while. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to the next. Look how cool Samuel Jackson looks in that picture. <laughs> I mean, he's so young looking. Yeah. Hair Which, plugs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Maybe. in the face, though, he still looks the yeah, same. Yeah, he looks a little haggard in the face. Yeah. yeah. Haggard. <laughs> he was going to retire. I just think he's got. he has money to spend on hair products. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the next. He didn't lose his eye yet. This is him in the car again. I mean, it's just more of the same. Should have been David Hasselhoff. Yeah. <laughs> this is where she sounded really weird. Yeah. I don't 
really not? I was like, yeah. that sounds strange. That, that was off-putting to me, too. I'm glad you brought that yeah. up. Yeah. Next. This, I, I don't know, spaceship. That's Cree. <laughs> That's probably the Cree world. Is that the Cree? Yeah. All right, let's check the next one out. This is her. She starts having these flashbacks. So she can't remember who she was. Okay. So it seems like whenever she comes back to Earth, she starts having flashbacks where she's with Monica Rambeau and 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 the rest of them. The old Captain Marvel. Yeah, she's with her. Oh, that's who the black chick is that she's fighter yeah. pilot. Well, ah. it's actually her daughter, I think, or something like that. Because it was a different name. It was it was a last name is Rambo. It though. was the Rambo last name, but it was like something else. Could have been her mom. Because it said on the fighter j- thing, it said photon. Like for their, uh, it said something cool. photon Rambo or whatever. That's cool. That's her there. Yeah, I like it. Why can't she be Monica Rambo? I don't know if it was Monica or if it, they were portraying it that it was her daughter. And Monica may be older and was a, was a Captain Marvel at one time or something like that. I don't know. You know, they never get it right. They always have to just yeah, tweak yeah. it a little bit. Right. You know, that's what, that's what they do. Here you have her looking very boyish, swinging on a rope. <laughs> having flashbacks, not really too exciting. Now is she having a flashback there, or is she flashing? That's back a to flashback s- to her when she was in training. Okay, and she like falls. Well, they and- kind of showed her like displaying like peak, because she was like swinging really like yeah, like peak physical so strength. It could be yeah. after she comes back or could something. Be. Could yeah. be. This, this is, is a, flashback. a flashback of her as a as a kid. Sliding. There's a lot of um, symbolism to falling and picking herself back up in this a lot, and, and, and a lot of cameras starting one way, folding over the other way, which is super annoying. George Lucas. <laughs> Next, we have her laying on the ground. It looks like maybe another planet. I mean, if her spaceship went and crashed, and it's yeah. So then the next one, we have her being like surgically operated on by some aliens and they're shooting stuff in her head. Because she was just a regular human, right? Mm-hmm. Was she ever part Cree? I don't believe so. No. Okay. She was Who just in, in given the... Mar- yeah. And it's kind of a convoluted origin story for Captain Marvel. Because it, it's that, you know, abdu- not abducted by aliens, but given, bestowed the power of Captain Marvel. Yeah, it's tough. It's, yeah. So then next, we have her and her uh, Star Force group here. Um, I think you can kind of see Ronan in the one picture behind her. Yeah, that looks all right. And then there's Jude Law, the next one. He's look, got the alien eyes. I don't. They said, thought he was going to be Marvel, but I think, I think he's something else. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I don't know, who do you think he is? I don't know. Raza. Raza. He's Raza Raza with the symbiote. Yeah. (laughs) Listen to our SoundCloud to get that joke. (laughs) Yeah, to go through all that just to get that one joke. And then next we have her in a fighter pilot where she looks pissed off. She has resting bitch face in a lot of pictures here. Yeah. And then next, this is the image there that I was talking about where I think that's her in that jet coming face to face with that spaceship. Uh Yeah. I can see that. She could be the Kree. Yeah, and they they're gonna abduct her, and then that scene where she's falling out of the ship Mind onto the planet, her. and and yeah, do all that mm-hmm. stuff to her. Mm-hmm. I wanted to yell something so bad here, but I'm not going to. I'm keeping it clean. Um, there's the scrolls, bunch of piccolos. Yeah, <laughs> I think they look great. That's, they do. They that's do. the most exciting thing for me on this uh, in this trailer. Is yeah, I'm glad they're able to use them. Yeah, the leader. The leader, I guess, is supposed to be Talos. He was he a secret? Ring a bell? I don't know. Apparently, he's uh, the leader of the, is he the former Skull leader of the Kree. Skymax? So then, the next image here is where we have the controversy that every idiot online today is having a problem with, because you have her facing off against this old lady. The old lady smiles at her, and then she punches the old lady in the face. Wait, well, why is this a thing? People are all upset that she's punching an elderly woman, oh, and then people are like, "It's a scrawl." And people are like, well, I don't know what that is. She shouldn't be showing us. Kids are watching, and they think it's okay to hit an old lady if you're a superhero. <laughs> and I'm like, she's. And then one person was, another person was like, what? A, Ken's gonna quit. <laughs> Ken is so, so upset right I'm now. I'm trying to keep it. this clean. He said he's gonna quit. He's quitting right now. Um, and another person was like, what if um, they, she thinks it's a scroll and it's not? She punches the lady's head off and killed. Her. Good. I was like, then she'll kill her. Like they're not gonna let her kill an old lady. Like I'm pretty sure this scene here, she's gonna punch this thing and it's gonna turn into a scroll and they're gonna have a big fight on a bus. That's probably the next scene where you see her jumping on top of the thing, shooting her beams, you know, mm-hmm. those high beams. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> and then we have Ronan in the next scene looking out the window, which pretty cool. I like this, Ronan. This is where he's going to make his separation and become evil Ronan who wants to just kill everything. Good. I like evil Ronan. And then there he is, sexy guy Phil Coulson. Look at that! Look at that sexy hair he has there. <laughs> Do you think there's CGI done here, or is this just Phil Coulson with makeup on? Phil Coulson with makeup and hair. So this brings me to another thing. By watching Agents of Shield, if Phil Coulson knew about the Captain Marvel exists, I don't understand why he didn't try and reach out there for all the alien problems they've been having. They were on other planets. That's why I think there's some mind wipes that happened. Like, that he has to forget her altogether. Mm -hmm. Because it wouldn't make sense, the four years Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where they're like, they've had attacks from other worlds, problems with other planets. He's like, you know what? I know somebody that might be able to be of use here. I think they're going to give her the sentry treatment, where... Like everyone just kind of forgot about her through oh, different means. Sentry and... treatment is a good is good. That could be good. But Nick Fury remembered somehow. Yeah, he's Nick Fury. He's the only one. So Nick Fury with an old pager. This must be before he got his new the, the quantum super space uh, uh, pager. pager. He got this lame one here with Target. So what that is is she's shopping at the Target. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's buying water for she's a wrestling getting... match she hosted. She's getting some candles. And then we have this is a cool picture though. Are they underwater or are they I just think, flying in space? I don't know. They could be either one there. It kind of looks like underwater, but then again, maybe it is like a, a, a planet with no atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, but it looks cool. I like the I like the helmeted with the hair out the top situation. Yeah, yeah that's that's cool. That's classic. Who's who's the guy on the left that looks like he has swords on his back? That's a Hydra Bob. You might have seen him. That from is Dead. Deadpool. Is who that is making a cameo. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That could be Ronan. That could be what's his name? Shatterstar. Korath. Korath. Raza. Um, What was the X-Force guy with the swords? Raza. No, that was like a dog. (laughs) And he he was a part of that action figure wave back in the day. He had like a cat or a dog face, and he had two swords, and he had like a, 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 like, metal pants. And (laughs) you remember remember this? He was a figure. He was real horrible. And he had two swords and like a dog face. It's McGruff, the fighting ninja crime. We'll find that one after. (laughs) All right, never mind. Sorry. (laughs) And then, I don't know what's this. This is just exploding things in this next picture. (laughs) Really in-depth analysis. And then a cool shot of her up close. Now, that's a a good-looking mask. That looks cool. Yeah, I like it. The eyes especially, they got really, they did a good job on that. The nose is off-centered. Yeah, well, you'll have that. <laughs> She's probably itching her nose. But I like that. And then the next one is like a shot of her chest powering up that we have here, which leads into the awesome shot there where it looks like she's going like full like binary mode there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super Saiyan. Yeah. Her binary power was pretty off the chart when yeah. she was binary. Yeah. So I don't know. Wasn't there a Shi'ar tie into that, though? Yeah. To binary? Yeah. I think so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the images. That's how it looks. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. Um, anything we don't like really big o- off the top of our heads? No. Mm-mm. No. I just want to see more. I'm anxious to see the movie. Yeah. With all the hype. I just get annoyed by the hype. That's the truth. Yeah. It's a good point though, about the whole mind wiping thing. It still begs the question with me if Fury knew she was a Ryan White and he called her in the first Avengers. He knew they could handle it. Did he? He didn't seem like he could. He, he was, you know, he wanted to f- find super people. You knew the, the best out of all of them and didn't bother to. She might well, have to get. He, he was also. Sorry, Ken. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, um, you did. He was also under kind of the thumb of, of that council. So I'm wondering if, if they're going to make it that, that Fury just wanted to keep her in his back pocket as an absolute yeah. last resort. Um, because he knew that number one, she was like, she's, they've been talking about her as kind of unstable and not following any kind of rules whatsoever. Um, and so that, you know, he knows about her, but obviously, but he's just kind of keeping her hidden. Cause he did that um, in the comics with other when, characters. When everybody started disappearing, that was the last draw. And then he was like, mm-hmm. oh, shit, I better call her. Yeah. Because remember, whenever the secret invasion was going on, he had that whole team of secret defenders or whatever yeah. that he knew were were on the up and up. He always has something up his sleeve. Mm-hmm. Like treats. 
All right. Well, there you go. And we'll wait to see what happens, but that's our initial reaction to it, and we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, please like leave a comment, and see you know, tell us what you think about what we had to say, and uh, like, share, subscribe, invite, tell your friends, and uh, kiss your mother in the mouth for me. Yeah.